Okay, there it is. Uncovered. We have no idea what's lurking beneath the swamp. We're so excited because we finally have the pool going. It's been about a week. The boys have loved it. My wife has enjoyed it. I have not. So today's the first day that I'm going to jump in. But before I do, I did a, a backwash one more time to clean out the filter. I just added some DE powder. That's why I'm wearing gloves. I had a mask on before. I bought these socks that you put in your, um, in your skimmer baskets so that they can kind of help the filter out a little bit because then most of the big stuff gets stuck on here instead of proceeding into the filter. So I'm going to put that in there in the skimmer. And then I bought these like little starfish at my local pool place. The, apparently these are like a special type of sponge and if you toss one into the skimmer, it absorbs all of like the body oils and suntan lotions and any type of oils that get into the pool. This thing will absorb it and um, you know, every now and then you just gotta come up and just squeeze it and wring it out and dump it back in there and, it, and it'll last, and it says it'll last about a month. So, but maybe like every two weeks we'll wring it out and then dump it back in there. So we'll put that in there. What do you think? Am I a pool guy now? Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh, after you've seen all our journey of getting this pool from ugly, ugly green to this beautiful blue pool, um, which they say, I turned it from green to blue, but you're not really turning it blue, you're turning it clear. The pool is blue. So uh, what, one thing that was recommended to me for, for by so many people from the pool industry to friends that have pools is you gotta get a robot cleaner, like an automatic robot cleaner. Otherwise you're gonna be scrubbing this pool every week with a brush and skimming it and vacuuming it manually. And I'm not gonna be doing that. My wife vacuumed it for like a couple of days and she's already tired of like having to do that. So we got a robot. And I wanted a robot because I wanted a robot that was maybe more like Star Wars-y looking. So I found a model of the Polaris. Polaris was the ones that everyone recommended. And this is the one we got. Let's check it out. We gotta name it. So this the is the- Star Wars name. This is the Polaris BRX. IQ and this is very important this IQ part because um, normally these things you know they, they come with a little caddy and a little like on and off thing and like you turn it on and it does its thing and then it comes and then it finishes um, but there's going to be a lot of times that we're not going to be home and I wanted something that I can program and have it doing it automatically like something smart like a smart device so we already have a lot of smart devices in the house. So I wanted this to be a smart device. And this is a smart device. It connects to an app, to Wi-Fi, the whole thing. So what do you think, Dylan? It's good. Open it. Oh, man, man. All right. Let's see what we got inside. So actually, some of the key features before we open, it's all four-wheel drive, which means all four tires uh, rotate, which means it's, it's you know pretty good at climbing the walls and everything. It does climb the wall and it goes up to the surface so that you can lift it out. Uh, it has a very big basket uh, filter. And this little thing here is so that the cord doesn't get tangled. It's like an anti-tangle swivel thing. So here we go. So this is all part of the storage oh, pattern. Oh, I can see the other wheel. I can see the robot. This is the cord. Extra long. Seven, you guys have your own robot, seven, you seven, Jedi I Toy Masters. More I can see it. We got the instructions. It has a handle here. Look at that little guy. It's like an R2 unit. It's it blue is. and white. I love it. I'm so happy about this because vacuuming was not. It's not fun. Not fun. I mean, it's good for, you know, certain spots. And that's the thing, we gotta look at the pool because there's a lot of little crevices in the crevice corners of the pool. We'll see how well this guy does at getting all those crevices. Yeah, should I show them? Yeah, to see go if show them the crevices. So there's a couple of crevices that even with the vacuum, when I was vacuuming, we couldn't get and we're hoping that the robot will get. Uh, mind you, this pool has not been used in over two years. So it was really, really filthy and dirty. So let me show you the crevices that we're still having a hard time getting into. See if you can kind of see like the dirt all along. I mean, I know there's casting a shadow, but 
these little corners right here still have a lot of like little particles of gunk. And there's a couple of spots here that need to be clean vacuumed because once you like vacuum, it like comes up anything else and then it starts settling back into the pool area from those crevices. So that's what we've been having. So all along the seam where the floor meets like those areas, there's still like a lot of particles that we want to get. So we have not been swimming in this area because it, although it's safe to swim, we have not been swimming because we just um, need to clean this up so that we've got the robot. The rest of the pool is pretty clean on this side. This is all good because of course it's not the deep side. So I was able to vacuum it pretty well, but I'm excited because all these little crevices scenes hopefully will be picked up by the robot it's been a big expense all the pool things right it's not yeah, it's like we inherited the pool but we didn't know that this was gonna cost us like yeah this has not been um it's been a pricey endeavor it's been pricey these guys are not cheap even doing a lot of the things ourselves too with some of the things is still expensive yeah Okay. Maurice did get a good deal on this. Um, yeah, my local the, pool the, store gave me a really decent deal on this, and and there was a rebate. I don't know how long. I think the rebate is good until until the end of the summer. So if you're watching this video and it's still summer of 2021, then I think that rebate on this guy. You gotta check your Leslie Pool Store or any other pool store. Are we winging it or are we following directions? I have a picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So if you guys are follow directions types of people, share in the comments. If you are just winging it type of people, share in the comments as well. Because what are what kind of person are you, Maurice? What do you think? Instructions or not instructions? I At this point, he's I using do. instructions. I think I do a little bit of both. Um, I kind of figure it out and but at the, at the same time I I kind of uh, I look at the pictures <laughs> we're also firstborn so firstborns like to read and follow the rule kind of thing so yeah, we always like, like, like when I build something that's Ikea I like to take all the screws out and I put them into little yeah. files so that I know that I have everything no, that's no, no, a little bit of a trait for a firstborn um, someone like this guy who's the baby he probably will just like mm -hmm. yeah bring everything out and just leave it there for dad to do it. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably get frustrated and just be like, you build that. And then our middle one would probably just wing it and put it together and have a bunch of screws missing at the end and exactly. wouldn't care okay. because it's put together anyway. Yep. So it is what it is. All right, so the first part of the patty is almost built and uh, everything else should happen within a snap, right? There we go. Look at that. She's in the caddy, looking nice. So it's pretty cool that it has that little caddy built in. You know, a lot of a lot of other uh, companies, they sell the caddy separate. Now, granted, you're paying a premium for this guy. Okay, you're paying you're paying a premium for this. Um, but I always I always quote my dad, who used to say it in Spanish, and I I heard a YouTuber here say it in English you buy nice or you buy twice. And I mean, that's basically what this is. Uh, you're gonna pay a few hundred dollars more than a lot of the other robot cleaners on the market, but Polaris, everybody recommends Polaris. I mean, you call, you talk to any pool company, they're gonna recommend either Polaris or Dolphin. The reason I went with Polaris over Dolphin is very simple. Um, a lot of the pool companies that I that are in my area are Polaris dealers and they are Polaris repair shops. So if anything happens with this, this has a two year warranty. Um, the pool company adds an additional year to that. So um, you have three years basically and they handle all the repairs. So uh, you don't have to ship this thing to, to California like you, you would with Dolphin. Um, although if you live in California, probably Dolphin is a better way to go because they're, they're, they're you know, they're probably more local for you. But this thing's awesome. Uh, I haven't even turned it on yet and I think it's awesome. But I've seen so many reviews. I've watched so many um, 
videos of this guy in action that um, I'm excited to see it in action. So here we go. So right off the bat, um, I downloaded the app. I'm gonna set that up in a minute, but there was a sticker right here that basically says that when you first turn it on and you put it in, if you set it to smart, what it's gonna do, it's gonna run for two and a half hours and it's going to basically go to the entire pool in those two and a half hours, basically measure and explore and all that stuff uh, and find out what the optimal time and map out how to clean your pool best, the best way. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do that um, and it's getting nice and warm out. So while it's cleaning, you know, hopefully we'll be able to jump in the pool and play around for a little bit. Uh, but everything is looking pretty good. Time to get this guy in the water. All right, so she's up. She's up and running. I got the app installed. She's ready to go. We got this sorted out so that it's not like super tangly because this is the part that needs to make sure it's not tangled up. We're just going to submerge it about the midway point. by MMVRX. I think that's what I think that's what we might call it. MMVRX. Instead of R2D2, he's MMVRX. So we'll see. We'll see how that name if that name sticks. And it's super quiet, but she's she's already going. She's already doing it. It's calculating. Pretty stinking cool. Hopefully she'll be able to get all that extra little stuff that's been under there. But it's doing it. So that's gonna be about two and a half hours of it just kind of going around and figuring out this whole pool. So I'm not gonna let you watch it for two and a half hours. We'll skip to that part. Let's see what happens once it's done. So I just took it out, pretty simple. It just comes right to the edge. You pull it out, all the water flushes out, and then you open it up. You take this guy out and there he is, full of crud. Now we're just gonna rinse this out and call it a day. So while it was doing that, I kind of looked at the instructions and uh, we had lunch and now it's really hot. And um, now that the pool is a lot cleaner, we can play. Ew, look at that, oh, that press. Look at all that was in the pool. That all was that. the last bit of it. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll link below this my exact model. Um, there's a rebate going on, $100 rebate from now until the, I think the end of the summer. So check it out and I'll catch you next time. All right, Blow, I gotta jump in there. Go jump in there. Yeah! Oh, no, no.